What's up, Sledheads? Garrett here. Today's video is going to be looking into the multi-track theory in Sledstorm. Now, if you are not already aware, in Sledstorm there's a glitch called wall riding, where you're able to clip in between two vertical planes to ascend upwards, where you can either drive across invisible platforms to cut out huge sections of the course, or to get to a specific height needed to crash into a checkpoint zone. This glitch is only utilized on three tracks for speedruns. We have the infamous one at Eagle Ridge, which is the only one where you drive across an invisible platform and drop back down to the track below to complete a lap. Then we have the one at the Glacial Grind, where you must wall ride up to a specific height to crash into a checkpoint zone. And last, we have the side castle skip that requires you to do the only backwards wall ride in the run to crash into a checkpoint zone. Now with the backwards wall ride or BWR for short, they are much trickier to get into and control, but they are more versatile than your standard wall ride. Pretty much anywhere where two walls meet each other and if the ground has a slight slope to it, you can do a backwards wall ride there. But it doesn't always guarantee that you'll make it all the way to the top. Start out by holding down while reversing in between two walls. If your sled starts to sink down quickly that means you have found a good spot come back out this time hold forward while reversing once you see that your sled begins to raise up switch to holding down to stabilize your sled and if your timing is right you'll start riding up the wall the further your sled is inside of the wall the higher the possibility you'll make it all the way to the top now what does this have to do with the multi-track theory these discoveries that I'm about to share would have never been found without the use of the backwards wall ride. So where did this all begin? It wasn't but a month ago I realized I'd never gotten outside of any of the super snow cross tracks. There really is no need to anyways because the skips for every track can be done by simply crossing one checkpoint and crashing into another. I was just curious to see if it was even possible. Plus back in the day when I was running the category of uh, backwards wall rides, had not been discovered yet, and getting a forward wall ride seems impossible for every wall on super snow cross tracks was met with a slope, so you weren't even able to clip into the wall. Anyways, I loaded up super snow cross 6 and quickly found a way into the center of the track, then jumped across the track to wall ride the outer wall to get outside of the track. But later I found a quicker way up by doing a BWR on the outer wall in the same area. Once outside of the track, I was totally expecting to fall into an infinite void like at Glacial Grind or Perilous Pass. Nope, I was in for a big surprise. Driving out into the unknown, my character suddenly vanished, yet I could still see my shadow. But I kept going, right as I thought there was no end, I fell down into a hidden area below. Hugging the left side, I noticed that I was actually going off jumps. It wasn't until I heard the sound effect of crossing the wooden platform that I realized that I was on the same track as the one I'd gotten out of. To confirm my suspicions, I went to Super Snow Cross 5 because it was just one big oval. If it's the same track, it will be pretty obvious by watching my marker on the minimap. Quickly found a BWR and made my way over to the right side of the track and dropped down. Right when I made the first bend, I knew it was true. It's the same exact track. But why is this here? Was it like a test version of the track or something? After driving around for a bit, contemplating the possibilities, my buddy Churcher asked in chat, could it be the mirror track? and it all made sense. I'd totally forgotten that you could use a cheat code to unlock the mirrored mode for tracks. I quickly went and put in the cheat code and loaded up SS5 again, and what do you know? The minimap for the track was right where I was when I was outside of the standard version. You can drive on both versions of the track even when it's not loaded. But of course it didn't stop there. It just made me wonder what's outside of the unloaded mirror track. To find this out, I had to get a BWR with only my sled tread tracks as visual cue, which I knew wasn't going to be easy. To test this out, I went back to Super Snow Cross 6. Finding a BWR without seeing where I was made things a lot more challenging, but with save states and with a little bit of luck, I made it out. I made my way to the right and to my surprise I dropped down into another track. After driving around and watching my marker on the minimap it was clear that I was on the same track. But what's the reasoning behind this one? 
Looking at the cheat codes online, there is one for a reverse tracks mode, but when you enter in the code, it will say that it's accepted, but it doesn't show any option to select it. There is obviously space for one more icon. I've tried it on both emulator and console with no luck. It's possible there is a code out there that works, but I just haven't found it yet. My theory is that they did intend on having this feature in the game, but after reviewing all the tracks, they realized some wouldn't be possible to complete in reverse without modifications. The first track that comes to mind for me would be Goat's Bluff. There's a massive jump near the end that is too steep to climb in reverse, and there isn't any other way around it. So EA took the option out, but still left the tracks there in the code. Makes sense, right? Okay, that should be it, right? Uh, ho hold up. Uh, what? Okay, so we have the standard track, the mirror track, then maybe the reverse track. But what the fuck is this then? I guess let's keep going. Oh my god, how many are there? It just keeps on going. One new strange thing to note on the fifth track over, I could see the shadows of the racers in the distance, but couldn't reach them. Kinda spooky. Come back to us. And the sixth track over, I was able to phase through the loaded track. It was like I was lopsided. I, I really don't know what's happening at this point. After dropping into the sixth track over, you are out of frame on the minimap. So when I did manage to get a BWR, I wasn't completely confident that I had dropped down into a new track anymore. <laughs> I'd like to believe that you will show up on the left side and be able to land back into the loaded track to complete a long out of body experience, but who knows, it may continue on endlessly. So this is where the whole theory comes into place. Not to mention there are tracks above the loaded tracks as well. It seems to be this infinite grid of parallel tracks and we can only see two of them. Is this something that is found in other racing games? If anyone knows how to read code or has any idea what is happening here, please comment below or reach out to me at sledstormsr at gmail.com. So yeah, the multi-track theory. Uh, at the time of uploading, I had a sudden realization you know how you can change the time of day and weather conditions for each track? Well, what if each track is specific to those weather presets? So you would have the day tracks with either clear, snow, or rain, then fog with clear, snow, or rain, and night with clear, snow, or rain. And then, on top of that, the mirrored versions of all of those. That would mean there are a total of 18 versions of the same track. But it's still just a theory. Seems like it would be a lot simpler to just add these conditions to the same track, but what do I know? I'm not in game development. I might have an all day stream sometime uh, where I'll see how far outside of Super Snowcross 5 I can get. Because looking back at uh, attempts on Super Snowcross 6 uh, was probably not the best choice. It's not the easiest to identify um, where I am on the track to get a BWR. Plus the track is kind of wide, so I can only go but so many times over before I'm out of frame. So I feel like with the Super Snowcross 5, I can get out um, multiple times without um, leaving the frame. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you found this theory as interesting as I find it to be. And I'll see you on the loaded slopes. Peace.